Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make this Minecraft theme balloon bouquet. If you like more videos like this, please don't forget to uh, hit that like and subscribe button below, leave me your comments and stick around so I can show you how to make this beauty. Let's go. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to build my base and my base is going to consist mainly of my green two different shades of green and black balloons okay so i'm going to build a total of i think it's going to be three quads okay and i'm going to use my calibrator and i think i want it to the size nine inch <laughs> So that's gonna be my size, okay? So that's my duplet, and I'm going to be alternating the colors so it's going to be um, one big, two green, lime green like this. And I'm going to make one darker green and one, uh, sorry, one black. Now that I have my duplets, I'm gonna intertwine them into a quad. So this is what my base, it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna need about three of these babies, okay? Okay guys, so I have a total of three uh, quads here and that's a mix of my, um, it's a mix of my black, greens, two different shades of green. So I have a total of three. And I'm gonna move on to make my inner quads, okay? So that's gonna be all different shades of brown. These are nine inches. And for these, I'm just gonna fill in with uh, my hand pump, only because they don't require that much air. And as far as my calibrator, I wanna play with, um, the size, I think they may go up to a five, I'm not sure, a five inch, okay? Which is this one right here. So let's just see if that's enough. Hmm. That may be too small, you guys. I think I want it. Yeah, so it's gonna be a six, it's gonna be a six um, inch calibrated. Yeah, so let me see how many pumps that is for those that of you that don't have a calibrator. So it's gonna be about 
I would say eight pumps of air, okay? So eight pumps. And I have my two shades right here, how pretty. All right, okay. So I'm gonna need eight pumps throughout and then I'll marry them together. And for those I need, uh, I think it's gonna be one, two, maybe maybe even four quads, I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna start, I need to, two all together. seven or eight pumps really and these I'm going to turn into a quad as well so here you see the two shades of brown by adding the two shades of browns you're giving it that extra um, fuller look as opposed to just one shade and looking just boring and flat you know okay guys so now i have my nine inch quads two different color shades of brown and i originally only wanted two but i had extra balloons so i decided to make two more quads just in case um i want to play with the design so i'm going to put these aside for now and what I'm gonna do is start building my quad. So, I'm sorry, my uh, cluster of balloons, which will be my base. So, this time I don't wanna go high, I wanna go length. So, it's almost like a column, that's the same idea. So, I am going to grab my 260 white balloons, stretchy balloons, in order to attach my piece. So I'm gonna start with my base. Grab my stretchy balloon, make a knot over here. And you're gonna do this process just like as if you're building a, um, a column. It's the same exact thing. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm gonna grab one of my mini quads and I'm gonna sit it right so that you see one, two, three balloons. Okay, and I'm gonna stretch it, go under my top one, and go under my bottom one. And that will form a figure eight. Okay, so now I'm going to inflate my number nine. I already have my balloon weights right in here. And as you can tell, when you sit it, it's heavy. So it won't go anywhere. And now that I have my number nine, right over here, I'm gonna just put some air in it and attach it to my piece. Okay, so now I inflated my number nine and this beauty is gonna go right on top over here. So in order to attach it, I'm just gonna grab my tab, use a 260, and I'm just gonna roll it in so that I can attach my piece to my base. Okay, you guys, this is what I have so far. And now I'm going to attach my nine here. And the reason why I did this is because I didn't want my nine to sink into the middle of this. And I wanted to give it a bigger lift because I have other balloons that I'm attaching to the side. So I think it'll be pretty if the nine kind of stands out. So 
maybe go back you guys so you can see so far what I'm looking at okay okay now that I have my TNT all filled up I'm going to attach it the same way I did with my nine roll my 260 and just attach it to my base okay guys so I had to move to the floor of my house <laughs> don't mind the mess but uh, because this piece is getting too tall for me to reach and I don't want to you know risk any chances of damaging the balloons so the next thing I did was I made a tiny little quad of three um, two different color balloons that are green and I was able to grab one of the tabs of my nine inch balloon and attach this 260 Q balloon so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this little uh, quad right here and weave my And this is what it's gonna look like so I want this right here as a base so that I can put my um, game remote right on top okay so now that's that hi guys okay so look at how cute so far it looks I love this piece right here I mean it's just so cute and I don't know I kind of gave up the idea of putting another uh, TNT right here just because I feel like it'll be if this is this big another one of these up here I think it's gonna interfere too much with this remote right here so um, now remember this arrangement will have some helium balloons going up with the creeper design so I think that will be enough for this arrangement so now I'm gonna focus on the bottom to try to cover some of my holes right here and add some um, more fun stuff to it but so far as far as my um, foil balloons I think I'm not gonna go too overboard because sometimes you know less is better so all right let's get to build more stuff okay you guys so what i'm gonna do next is i have a bunch of uh stretchy balloons and i'm gonna be building this almost like not a flower but like this design to go on the corner of my uh balloon bouquet all right so all i'm really gonna do is just inflate them and twist them to resemble almost like a flower-ish. So I just inflated this right here and where it meets, I'm going to fold them just like this. Just be gentle. I mean, don't over inflate your balloons too much. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold right here and twist and this is what I'm gonna be doing with a bunch of these balloons that I have here so same thing with my I decided to use gray only because I do have well silver ish metallic because my number nine has silver in it so okay once I have my two I'm gonna marry them together okay give me one second and it'll form this kind of design and I'm gonna add more colors to it okay and this will go right on the corner of my arrangement okay guys so I was able to make uh, four all together and I pretty much marry them like this I have a little tab over here at the end and I'm gonna attach this to the base of my piece okay you'll see in a minute okay you guys so I was able to attach just with the 260 my little uh, flower design here at the end of 
the uh, the piece. I didn't want to put it on the front because I feel like it'll be too much up on this side. So I decided to put it on the side corner to balance it out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my little clusters and I'm gonna put them right over here. And they're gonna be different shades of green. Okay, so now that I have my little clusters ready to go, I'm just gonna have a, um, put a half of a 260, make a knot and attach them to my piece. Let me show you what I'm working with down here, you guys. So as you can see, I'm putting them right over here at the bottom and finding where my holes are and just basically attaching them to those. So in this case, this one will go right down here. can accommodate them however you want. I mean, it's it came out so perfect, and you didn't get to see it, but I did add the uh, little creeper balloons, helium balloons, right over here, and I think it just adds that um, green theme plus some height to my piece. So overall, I'm just like in love with this uh, balloon bouquet theme for Minecraft. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and more to come. So if you like videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Leave me your comments and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.